They announced Tenny support in Supreme Darkness, which is obviously a very, very, relatively recent um, archetype that could, with the right support, be a, a thing again. You know, Tenny cards are good cards still. They've just been uh, over like Powercraft a little bit in the recent uh, two years. But here we are with Tenny support in Supreme Darkness. So let's see what they got. We have a light level four Tenny Spirit Surya, which is also a tuner, uh, which Tenny's already had tuners, but they were mostly, they only had level one, right? Were, were, were any of the level fours a tuner? I think not. I think it was just Adhara that was a tuner, right? Yeah, okay. So now we have a level 4 tuner, which could be relevant because it means we can turn uh, the, the level 4 tennies into level 8 synchros alongside this tuner. Okay, let's see what it does. You can only use the first and second effect each once per turn. If you control a worm monster or a non-effect monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, wait, this is a... This is different from all the other tennies, isn't it? Because the other tennies, that's the condition for the secondary effect, right? On like the other ones. The other ones say if you control a non-effect monster, you can banish it to do something. Uh, and the other one also, I don't think the others mention worm monsters, right? The other ones just say like, if you control no effect monster, you can special summon. And then if you control a non-effect monster, you can banish to do the other thing, right? So this one is different, where it's just a... Uh, you can just have a worm or a non-effect and then you special summon it. But you cannot special summon it on an empty board. That's the difference, right? The other ones you can all summon on an empty board. This one you can't. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material for a worm monster, you can special summon a tiny link monster from your extra deck but it cannot be used as link material, then you lose life points equal to its link rating times 1000. Okay. So you special this, you synchro with it, and then you get a free special summon of a link from the extra deck, which for tennies, you get you can get a free monk for a thousand. You can get a free shaman, which is honestly probably very strong. The Link 3 for Tennies, they had Link 3s, right? But like, I don't know if those those would be powerful options for this, I guess. Like, because the thing you have to the thing you have to think about is like the Link 3 and the Link 4 for Tenny, I think they had fine effects. It was just never worth using so many bodies for it, right? So like, if you get them for free, I mean 3,000 or 4,000 life points res respectively, but like essentially free right they could be they could be a lot stronger i'd have to go let me let me check the tenny link monsters real quick uh let me do the database we go do the database switch it to english card search any boom okay so they have berserker of the tenny which is just a non-effect monster that's three thousand attack um you have draco masters of the tenny which is also a link three Cannot be destroyed by battle with an effect monster. If you control no other effect monsters, you can destroy effect monsters your opponent controls. Up to the number of non-effect monsters you control and or in the graveyard. So that's weird because you are going to control another effect monster because... Oh, because you're you're going to synchro with this into an effect monster, right? So you're going to synchro and then you, you're not going to be able to use this. So that's kind of weird. Uh, then you obviously the link one and the link two are going to be solid options. Uh, and then for the link four, you've got Tenny Spirit Sahas Rara, which is while you control a face up non effect monster, monsters your opponent controls cannot target effect monsters for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target effect monsters with card effects. Quick effect, you can target an effect monster your opponent controls. Special summon a Tenny Spirit token. This token's attack becomes equal to that target monster original attack you can only use this effect once per turn see that's what i mean this card is for a link four simply not worth hard summoning right that is a, that is way too much investment for this sort of effect if i'm getting it for free though if i'm getting it for free like a free 3000 attack body that makes my stuff untargetable and they also can only attack my vanillas and i can even make Three vanillas with this, right? Because it makes Tenny Spirit tokens, which are 
potentially even relatively big, maybe we're talking, you know, like maybe we're talking that that could be fine. That could be fine if I get the if I get it for free. It is 4000 it 4000 life points, but like in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I could still I could still see that being worth it, honestly. So this card is not bad. Uh, and we do get a new synchro as well, because I was about to say you have to synchro into a worm monster. You have to synchro into a worm monster and like Drake or Berserker of the Tenny is not bad, but it's also not crazy. And Cheng Ying is also like, is Cheng Ying even a worm? Cheng Ying is a worm, right? Is Cheng Ying worm? Dude, I have to check. Uh, and I don't mean, I don't mean Cheng, uh, Cheng Ying, I mean Xi Xiao. Xi Xiao. It is a worm. Okay, it's a worm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, never mind. Save. Uh, and then we have a new level eight synchro Tenny Spirit Mula Adhara, which obviously you can now make with four plus four or one plus seven because Adhara plus a level seven is still possible. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is synchro summoned and you have two or more worms in your grave and or banishment, you can add one field spell from your deck to your hand. What, any field spell again? Any field spell is what you're telling me. That's, uh... Now, you still have to basically be playing a worm deck, right? You, you can't do this in other decks because it is generic, but you can only search if you have two or more worms in the graveyard or banished. So, like... I can't think of many other decks outside of Sword Soul and Tenny that can really do this easily. Deng Long exists. Yeah, okay. Guys, if uh, if you're going to try and build a crazy combo deck that includes Deng Long and then wants to set up like a, a, a certain field spell, like you're going to end up with a crazy combo deck that's just going to be worse than other combo decks in Yu-Gi-Oh's like in existence. Th that's not that crazy, you know? Uh, in general, obviously, adding a field spell from deck to hand is a powerful effect. Uh, depending on the format, you can search powerful cards like Secret Village of the Spellcasters. But then you have to play a deck with Worms and Spellcasters. You have you can add Necro Valley in certain matchups. That's okay, I guess. I mean, it's meant for... I can already see... I, there's another field spell down here for Tennies. Because Tennies already did have a field spell, which was... Um, Flawless Perfection of the Tenny, which is a, a funny card. It's 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 a very cool concept, actually, but uh, it hasn't really taken off, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that's what they want you to do with this. This card gains these effects while there's a non-effect monster on the field. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Can make a second attack during each battle phase. Okay. Uh, the main purpose of this card would be to search a field spell. The secondary effect is just like a bonus, you know, it makes it easier to clear fields and you can make uh, multiple attacks. Kind of kind of cool, actually. Um, I think if this field spell is good, people could use this in, in like Tenny Sword Soul. That'd be good. Um, the fact that it can search Floodgates doesn't really make sense to me. Like, why not just let it search a Tenny field spell? But all right. We have Eternal Perfection of the Tenny. So not only we do have Flawless Perfection, we also have Eternal Perfection, which is a field spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. When this card resolves, you can add a Vessel of the Dragon Cycle or Heavenly Dragon Circle from your deck to your hand. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That Those are two of the most powerful spell cards in, in Tenny Sword Soul. Um, it's, it's fine. I think because you're getting a free search for a card that was good like two years ago. Um, so I don't have an issue with that, especially because I don't think Vessel and Heavenly Dragon Circle like they're not like one card starters, right? Like they're they're like Vessel is like the closest, I guess, to a one card starter, but like it's fine. Uh, you can tribute a worm monster, then target a monster on the field, destroy it. Okay, we get a nice utility effect for destroying a card on the field, but like actually I feel like on a this feels reasonable to me because it's not a quick effect, so you can't use it as a disruption on the opponent's turn, and it actually comes with a real cost, right? Like, I'm comparing this to, in my head, I'm comparing it to Pearl of Rhino right now, which on activation adds a better card, and also the pop is better on Pearl of Rhino because it doesn't actually have a cost to it. It's just like if you're playing your deck normally, you get a free pop every turn. This one is like, oh, I have to actually tribute a monster to get the pop, and it's only on my turn. Um, so I like the balancing on this because it's still a good card. 
it's still a good card, but it's not like OP. Uh, once per turn during your end phase, you can send this card to the graveyard. And if you do, place a flawless perfection of the Tenny from your deck or graveyard face up in your field zone. Oh, I like that. Guys, flawless perfection of the Tenny is, uh, is one of those cards that I would love to be playable. So, uh, your boy Diego, thank you for the 16 months. Flawless Perfection reads, all non-effect monsters on the field are unaffected by monster effects. Once per turn, if your opponent special summons an effect monster while you control a face-down monster or non-effect monster, you can draw two cards. So, like, this is one of those field spells that, like, is only really good if you're playing, like, a back-and-forth grindy game, right? Because, like, drawing two cards on your opponent's turn is not going to be great unless you play, like, uh, unless you play a deck that draws a bunch of hand traps, I guess. But, like... For the most part, this card is really good in grind games and not really good in other games. So the idea that you you only have to play one copy, you only have to play one copy of this card, but you can access it from the deck or graveyard by playing an actually good field spell, is is kind of cool, right? So you can like make an end board where you you synchro with this guy into the uh into and then you summon the link four the link four is going to create a token on the opponent's turn and you're going to have the flawless perfection up because of the other field spell that's cool i can see it i can see it this feels like overall this feels like good support to me with but like this is both going to be good and bad news uh depending on whether you want any to be meta or not because I feel like this is good support that slots right into the deck and makes sense. However, I don't think it's going to make it top tier. I think it's going to make it better, but like it's it's more like a, it goes from tier 3 to like maybe bottom tier 2 or something like that. But maybe that's good enough, right? To, to make it like playable at definitely at like regional level or something. It might not even reach tier two, but like they're 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 good cards. They're cool cards. I like them actually. I do like them. like Sword Soul. You are, you guys are right. Sword Soul right now is barely even tier three. Sword Soul right now is barely even tier three. Um, and this support could end up making it a little better than that. I don't know. You know, one thing I would like to see. One thing I would like to see, or I would have liked to see, is if they gave Tenny itself more cards. To maybe make people like consider an actual Tenny deck rather than because Tennies are really just like tools that people use in Sword Soul. They don't really function as their own deck. Uh, and like I would have liked to see more cards that actually like make me want to build a pure Tenny deck because this is not quite it yet. I feel like one thing that Tenny, for example, isn't this what it is? I mean, it's it is what that is, but it's just not enough, right? It's just three cards. I feel like I feel like it would need more to make me not want to go Mo Yi, Long Yan, Emergence. Those are like such powerful cards. But maybe maybe Tenny and Sword Soul just belong together at this point. Like maybe it's just that what it is and it's fine. But Tennies are the good part of Sword Soul. Tennies are the fun part of Sword Soul. They are the fun part of Sword Soul. But without the uh, without the Sword Souls, you don't really have a goal. Like your your end board is not it, the Tennies are not part of your your end board or anything like that, right? Like it's just like Tenny is a really cool engine that lacks the means to actually win a game, right? Like you'd have to you you do have to access the Sword Soul cards to do that. Nothing wrong with two archetypes belonging together. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it's completely fine if Tennies and Sword Souls are just always played together. Um, I just, I, the, the reason I said it is because I really like the Tenny cards. I, I really, I think the Tenny play style is really cool. And I wish that was more playable. And, and not just limited to Sword Souls. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see how this turns out when it comes out. One thing, for example, that I feel like Tenny could really use, which this does not is, uh, which this is not, or does not give it, is uh, Tennies don't really have a normal summon, right? I think that's one thing. That's one reason why everyone puts um, Sword Souls into it, because Sword Soul is a relatively normal summon reliant strategy, so it makes sense to pair it with um, with Sword Soul. Like Sword Soul has the normal summon, Tenny has the um, the special summons, and then you have Long Yan, which can do the special summons as well, and discard the uh, the Tennies as well. But like, 
Tenny as a deck, all, all of them function as a special summon, right? So like, I feel like it'd be cool if they added a good normal summon into Tenny that doesn't require you to play a whole Sword Soul deck around. They can normal summon Rose Dragon. I mean, I, there, there's good normal summons in Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, so there's options for that. But like Tenny itself doesn't have it. 